This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm RTV6's Meredith Barrick with the news you need to know today. We begin with the forecast from meteorologist Todd Clausen. I'm meteorologist Todd Clausen. Good Wednesday to you. We continue with our heat and humidity here across central Indiana as once again temperatures will be in the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees. Today, though, better chances of storms throughout the afternoon hours. Be on the lookout for those. Some of them could be on the strong to severe side. Then as we get towards the 4th of July, we continue storm chances off and on throughout the afternoon hours. But as the sun sets, those storms should fade, so any fireworks celebrations should be in good shape by tomorrow evening. Heating and cooling your home could cost a lot more in the future if Duke Energy gets its way. The utility company, which is the largest in Indiana, is proposing a 19% rate hike. If approved, the change would be phased in over two years with a 17% increase starting next year and a 2% increase in 2021. The request will go before the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission. The commission will hold public meetings before making a decision. A family is having trouble finding peace 10 months after their mother's death because of the condition of her grave site. Larry Thompson went to the New Crown Cemetery on the south side of Indianapolis over the weekend to visit his mother's grave. What he saw left him devastated. The gravestone was located in the wrong place, nothing was engraved on it, and a piece of plywood covered an empty hole where her casket was exposed. The company released a statement to RTV6 about the situation, saying the family marker has been placed at the gravesite as of today. For two elephants at the Indianapolis Zoo, officials say the pair of African elephants survived a potentially deadly virus responsible for the deaths of two other elephants in the herd. Zoo leaders say 12-year-old Zahara and 13-year-old Kadar are both healthy and have beaten the virus. The elephants will continue to be monitored through blood tests. For more news you need to know, you can visit the IndyChannel.com or download the RTV6 app on your mobile device or streaming devices.